What's up ladies and gents and welcome back to our mashed potato series where we get to showcase random plays that we find unique and entertaining. Our first one from Gordy Cookie on Vi starts with a dragon steal but then she runs away to get close to her top laner who's teleporting in. She brawls it down gets Rengar super low as Maokai advances onto Graves but she wants Rengo's blood. Right before she gets into range she goes invisible thanks to his ult but with a random stroke of luck she sees a pink ward and down goes Rengar who tried juking the other direction while in Viz. Maokai cleans up the kill on Graves and then they collapse on the enemy Lee Sin scoring three kills total plus a dragon steal. But the real MVP was the enemy pink ward, so let's check out that play a second time, but this time around you can see exactly what happened with complete vision. That play was pretty unfortunate for the enemy jungler, but in her next play from infantry mid for the win, the jungler luck is swapped around. The enemy Vi was enchanted to top lane, but Fizz cuts her off and Riven dies, so Vi tries to peace out, but Fizz chunks her low. At this point, Fizz's E is still on cooldown, so Vi looks to Q out, and Fizz tries to flash the blocker, but instead he just gets knocked over the wall as she walks away while he sits there defeated. If you play champions like Gragas and Vi, you know nothing's worse than getting denied on your wall jump, and in this case, Fizz could have just flashed after her Q, but style points got the better of him. And for our last play, we move to the A-Ray map with Soluna on Shen, and at the start I have it frozen here so we can take note of a few things. We're at the beginning of this game and Tristan has died already, so it's a 4v5. The enemy team has pentakill machines like Master Yi and Katarina, while blue team has 4 tanks alive, so keep that in mind as the rest of this unfolds. He moves in behind them and lands a sick triple taunt to pull them closer to his team as the 4 tank death squad takes down Talon for the first kill onto Shen. They switch to Master Yi and get him really low as the alpha strikes, but they're basically unfazed by this and continue on Yi as Nunu dies, but Shen gets the double. He knows Kat is looking for the cleanup so he moves in as she exits the brush and then he auto attacks into a double taunt which is enough for him to burst Katarina. He applies a lot of pressure onto Mao so the enemy Xerath peels back but he sticks to his target and flashes the Xerath W while also picking up the quad. He's so close to achieving what few Aram Shens have done before as his team goes all in on Xerath and he seals the deal and scores the pentakill. It's almost ironic that out of all of these champions Shen's the one who gets the pentakill and right at the start of the game. Thanks everyone for watching, but before you go, we have a cool little contest we're running with our sponsor Alpha Draft to win some cash and game time with yours truly. It's completely free to enter the contest and it'll be called Winner Plays with Pertano Monster, so head over to the link in the description box and give it a try. It's a lot of fun making a fantasy team, so I think you'll really enjoy it. The total prize pool for this free contest is 600 bucks, and if you get first place, we'll be contacting you to arrange some games of league we can play. We rarely get to play games with our fans, so I really look forward to doing this more often and getting to hang out with some of you more privately. Hope you liked today's video, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.